Javon, I can't help it. I have a flat tire. Listen to me, Javon. You cannot sign with CSM. So, who got you 30 million for four years? Yeah, that's right. Who got you a six mil signing bonus? Yeah, that's right, baby. Me. No, I don't care what they promised you. They said what? How much? Oh, those lying bastards. Look, Javon, I'm gonna be there in 45 minutes. Don't sign anything. You wait for me. We're a team, right? Right? Javon? Oh, damn it! Yeah, is this Tri-State towing? Look, I got a flat tire on Columbia Parkway. Between 48th and LaGrange, I called you guys 45 minutes ago. Where are you? All right, you tell the driver I will give him an extra 50 bucks if he gets here in 10 minutes. No, thank you. Shut up already! <laughs> Meet Scott Turner, a hotshot sports agent who thinks he knows the path to success and happiness. But Scott will discover that these two things don't necessarily go hand in hand as he makes a detour off the beaten path and into the Twilight Zone. Anybody home? Excuse me. Oh, it's about time. Can you help me get back onto the highway? I am so lost. You are traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are only that of the imagination. You're entering the Twilight Zone. You're asking me for directions. Well, don't you live here? No, I, I just stumbled onto this place. I have been wandering around the woods for, oh, it, that's perfect. Let me guess, your watch doesn't work? Neither does mine. How about yourself? <sighs> Can't get a signal. Neither can I, and there are no phones here. Come on, it's a huge house. There's got to be a phone. No, believe me, I have looked. Not only isn't there a phone, there's no light switches, no clocks, no electric sockets. I'm a real estate agent. I notice these things. What about a car? Car? 
There's not even a driveway. So if somebody likes their privacy. Well, it's not as simple as that. Come take a look at this. Um, Scott, Turner. Marissa Sanborn. How well do you know the area, Scott? Obviously not very well. I don't even know there's a forest around here. This is all supposed to be flat land. There are no hills, let alone mountains. So what's that out there? It's a total mystery. What's that mean? This place shouldn't be here. Somebody's messing with us. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I know what this is. This is one of those silly reality shows, right? We're supposed to survive in the wilderness? I'm not signing any damn release form! I don't think that's what this is about. So there I was, stuck in traffic on the Columbia Parkway in the midst of a horrendous argument with my fiance, Paul. I just, I couldn't take it anymore. So you just got out of the car? Well, I thought he'd come after me, but he didn't. So I just kept walking. There's supposed to be a little park back here, not a forest. And I just wandered around until I found this place about an hour before you got here. All I know is I missed my meeting with Javon Mercer. Basketball player? He's threatening to sign with another agency. He leaves, I'm screwed. I'm juggling about a dozen real estate deals. I've got houses in escrow, meetings with buyers, meetings with sellers, all that, and I'm trying to plan my wedding. Stress is part of the game. You ever feel like quitting the game? Not an option. That's what I always thought. No, I'm not so sure. Scott, come here. These are all my size. What are the chances of that? It's your size, right? This is getting way too freaking weird. Time, huh? When you're ready. You do know that this is crazy. <laughs> it's a good kind of crazy. What if we find a way out of here? Is that what you want?
Don't get me wrong. I love my bike. But these old motorcycles, they can get away from me like that. I hit this oil slick, the next thing I know, I'm sailing over the handlebars and I'm flying. Look, you weren't killed. It's karma is what it is. You put out good energy, the universe sends good energy back to you. I must have been walking around these woods for hours. I didn't know there was a lake around here. Oh, oh. easy now. Here, sit back. Lay back, we can talk later. No problem. I'm Ricky. He's Scott, I'm Marissa. Oh, and phones don't work around here. So. Hey, Cole, it's Ricky. Hey, Had a little accident on Columbia Parkway. You all right? No, it's all good. Met a couple of nice people who helped me out. If it's okay with them, I'm gonna spend the night. Sometime tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna hold you to that promise. <laughs> Did you guys say something about phones not working? I don't understand what you're so upset about. No, I'm not upset. I just don't know what she's doing here. Well, she got lost in the woods, just like we did. So what happens now? She's just gonna stay here and live with us? Where else are you gonna go? All I know is this house is set up for two people, not for three. OK, what do you want to do? You want to throw her out? No, I'm not saying that. What are you saying? Just don't use her phone, Scott. Why not? Because if we let the world back in, then we will lose everything we have here. Ow! So I'm freaking lost. There's no way out of these woods. Call the police, the fire department, the National Guard, whoever, and get me out of here. I need your help, Cole. What's going on? Oh, I got stung by a wasp. This is the first time I've seen one around here. Oh, you better put something on that. Look, Marissa, Scott's not my type if that's what's bothering you. I'm just saying I've noticed a little attitude, and I want us to be friends. OK. After all, we're stuck out here together, right? Poor Cole. He's a hottie, but he's kind of lost without me. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> what about you? Isn't there someone you'd like to call? No, I don't think so. You're sure? No one's worrying about you? Parents, friends? No, there's no one. I thought Scott said there was a fiance, Paul something. Scott told you that? Is it a secret? Not anymore. Well, you don't even want to speak to the guy? Tell him goodbye, at least? What's, what's the number? I'll dial it for you. No, that's OK. You're sure? I'm going to go take care of this sting. I'll say one thing. I hate the quiet. I hate the isolation. I hate the boredom. But I love the food. I haven't had a bad meal yet. No matter how much we eat, there always seems to be plenty. Let me help you with those. Don't you have better things to do? Like gossip to Ricky about Paul and me? Scorpion. Cool. Hey. Oh, it's been three days since I talked to Cole. All I get is this answering machine. I gotta get out of here, back to my life. I've got my sister's birthday, this party at Jackie and Rave's. I got tickets to the basketball game. You like hoops? Are you kidding? I never miss a home game. Javon Mercer rocks. I represent him. No way. Yeah, way. Well, I'm a sports agent. <laughs> He's my number one client. You didn't read anything in the paper about him changing representation, did you? I just love watching him play. Yeah, he's good. If you're worried, why don't you give him a call? No, I don't think so. What's the matter? Marissa wouldn't approve? How do you know that? Listen, I know Marissa is using this place as an excuse to hide from the rest of the world. But you, you sound like you still have a life out there. I wonder who's talking to Javon now.
Come on, girl, be there for me. Go, baby! All right, your turn. Shoot the ball, shoot it! Yeah! Three pointer! Now play some D. Oh. No, no, don't kill it. Get in here. Are you sure you want to do this? Listen, are you going to argue with me or are you going to let me make a call? I don't want you to get in trouble with Marissa. You going to give me the phone or not? Thank you. Javon. What's happening, man? Scott. What do you mean, Scott? It was me. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I just, you know, I should have called you sooner, but and you know, I've been out of town on business. What do you mean? No, I'm just checking in to see how my favorite client's doing. You are still my client, right? Scott! Javon? 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 I'll take that back if you don't mind. What have you done? I love technology. It makes my job so much easier. What the hell are you talking about? This was your chance to be free, to live in innocence again. All you had to do was accept what you were being given. But you mortals always want it all, don't you? I think it's time you both were leaving. to interrupt, but do you have a cell phone that I could use? I seem to have lost mine. Yeah, Paul, where's my phone? I just had it here a minute ago. How would I know? Sorry. No, it's, it's OK. Most of us dream of paradise one time or another. Scott Turner actually found his. Unfortunately, he was unable to hold on to it and found himself back in the game of modern life. 